Hello friends, very good afternoon. Welcome to Engineering Basic. Today we will study to count the positive and negative number separately in array. Okay, and if you haven't subscribed this channel, then please go and subscribe to watch my further video. Now let's see to find the positive and negative number separately. First, I'll write the question. Write a program. Write a program to count the positive and negative number in an array in flowchart. Okay. First, we'll see what the question is going to tell. First, we'll say what the question is going to write a program to count the positive and negative number in an array. Which number is positive and which number is negative? Positive number means plus six, plus six, seven, plus eight, right? Plus eight, plus nine plus six, any number. And negative number means minus, minus eight, minus nine, minus six. These are the all the negative number. Okay. In this program, the telling to find the, to count the number, which is positive and which is negative. Okay, I'll take first example, four, five, six, seven, eight, Four, five, six, seven, minus one, minus, minus five, four, three, minus two, minus two. In this, how many numbers were positive and how many numbers were negative? Four, five, six, seven, three is positive number and minus one minus four minus two is negative number right in this the positive number is the positive number is how much one two three four five right the positive number is five and negative number is and negative number is how much? One, two, and three. The negative number is three. The question is telling this only to find the output, to print the positive num number and to negative number. Okay. Understood now how to solve this program on flowchart. First, we'll see the algorithm of this program. Let's see. Now what we'll do, first we'll take the array program, right? First go on declare, you have to go on declare, you will take positive number, I'll write for positive, positive, positive count, you will count the number of positive and you will count the, count the negative number. So I'll write for positive counts, I'll write PC, okay? And for negative count, NC. Okay. Now, how to solve positive, which is number is positive and which number is negative? Means if number, if number is greater than zero, then it will be positive. Otherwise, it will be negative. I'll use here if. If. If number is current current number if current number is or element if current number is greater than zero then then it is positive otherwise it is negative this thing only will use in flowchart let's see now in flowchart go on declare now what you will write positive number negative number 
PC for positive, NC for negative. In array program, you know that in my previous video also I have told that in, in array program you have to use I initialize and number for size of array. Right? Size for size of array. Now go on output and write to enter the number for array. Enter any number number in array. Now what do you have to do? Go on input. Same as my previous video, you have to do. You have to store all, all input value in A of I. In same as my previous video. That thing only I'm going to do here, right? Now, now, now in every video I have told that for PC and UNC what you have to do? You have to assign zero. If there is eight, then zero, subtract, then zero, multiply, then zero, anything, then zero. Okay, here is our positive count. So first we'll do, we'll assign zero. So the, again, negative count, Go on assign and write ENC and expression it will be zero. Understood? Now again go on declare for array. What you will do? Click on array. Variable name will be A. I'll keep A. Array size is our norm. Right? Okay. Now what you will do? You have to give to ask to ask computer to give the integer value. Enter the integer. Enter the integer. Integer number you can write. Or enter the integer also you can write. Anything you can write as your wish. Now what you will do? This much all everything was same as my previous video. Again, go on for loop. After going for loop, come here. For variable, what you'll do? Write i. A starting value, you know that first in, in every array program, it will be from zero, right? And ending value will be, now our size of array is num, so num minus one. If the size of array, it will be 10, then 10 minus one, nine, right? If the, if the size of array will be eight, and how much it will be ending value? Seven means minus one it will be, or every time it will decrease by minus one ending value. Understood? And what will be the ending value of 199? And it will be starting from zero. Understood? No, okay. Now what you will do? Every integer value you will store here. Okay. Now go on input. You have to store all the app value on i. A of i. Right? I have stored all the value, all the integer value here. Now what you will do? Again, go on for loop. Same, same thing you can do in C and C++ also. Just syntax is little different. Now what you'll do again, variable is our i, right? A starting value will be same, zero. Ending value will be same, num minus one. Okay. Understood? Now what you'll do, the question is telling to count the positive and negative number. First we should identify the which number is positive and which number is negative. Then you can only count, right? First, you can, if you can't know which number is positive and which number is negative, then how you can count? So, first, how to find the positive, which number is positive and which number is negative? I have told here, if current number is greater than zero, then it will be positive, otherwise it will be negative. Right? Now, what you will do? Go here and write, go on if. Right? Now, which is our current number? Current number, which is our? Now here is AI, right? AI is now our current element or number, anything you can tell. A of 
i is greater equal to the we have, we are not determining of zero so we, we have to write now equal to zero if it will be zero then also it will come on positive means if a i a of i is greater or equal to zero then it will be positive it will come true side positive otherwise it will come false side understood and go now again go on assign our work if the question will tell to find the positive number and negative number then then you can write here or direct you can write output for output uh, this number is positive and that the number is positive the number is negative you can write the no, the but the person is telling to count the positive and negative number and how you can count so for variable you can you have to write pc means positive count what will be positive count plus 1 it will be every time increase by 1 and for same same for false side also for it is negative side so what you will do nc means negative count nc plus 1 understood now i'll tell if there will be 5 right if if there will be 5 it will count 5 if 5 is greater or equal to 0 yes it will be true means our pc is zero first uh, we have assign here zero we have zero zero plus one one again it will go here in this way only it will calculate now what you will do go go on here and you have to write go on output and you have to write the number is positive and the number is negative the positive positive number is the positive count number or number only anything you can write the positive sorry the positive number is close this and what you all do and pc Here, it, here we are determining for PC that this will this we have to print positive count we have to print right so I have brought PC and for negative side for negative for false side this we have to print same go on output what you will do the negative number is Close this and you can see. Understood. Now let's say listen. First, I'll in the question is telling to count the number positive or in or not negative number, right? You the question first you will you will tell the if you will click run and what the what they will ask enter any number in array. You will enter any four number, right? You will enter any four number, and what you will do if you will enter one minus one two minus two, then what you will do? It will store all the value here. It will store all the value here. After that, one two one minus one two minus two, it will count. It will come here. Here one is greater or equal to zero. Yes, then it will come true side. Okay, then here it will be print again. If minus one minus one is greater or equal to zero, false. So it will come here. In this way, our output our output will be come. Let's run it. Run this program. If I'll do four, enter any integer number. Enter the integer number. I'll write one minus one two minus two. How much there is number? One. Minus one, two minus two means two. There are two positive, positive and two negative. The positive number is two and the negative number is two. Enter any number in array. I'll enter eight. Now give the integer. I'll add four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, two. Listen. The positive number is eight. Now. Every number were positive, right? 
every number were positive here and our negative number is zero understood if you if you want to do again inter six for number of array inter inter inter, inter the integer six seven minus five four minus five minus six minus seven anyhow you can run the positive number is two one two and negative number is one two three four now negative number is our four right understood and now again come here and go on output you can write here thanks also thanks to engineering basic And close this. Now you can run the program. I'll enter six, five, six, minus three, minus seven, eight, minus nine. The positive number is three. The negative number is three. You can look here. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. The positive number is three and the negative number is three. Thanks to Indian Basic. Hello, friend. Please subscribe to my channel as I post program video every day. And if you were facing any problem, then please mention in comment below. Thank you.